Genealogy Gems podcast and here with the Family History Expo TV. And I'm very happy to um, have with me today Diane Haddad from Family Tree Magazine, one of my dear old friends. <laughs> um, what do you think? Here we are. This is their first time here at Family History Expos at Mesa. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think, Arizona, and here at the conference? Well, I really am enjoying this conference. It's so, it's busy. Like, there's a lot of people here yeah. and a lot of people who are new to genealogy and um, who are really happy to come and see what all the exhibitors have to offer. That is really neat. Uh, nobody seems to be shy. They are getting into mm -hmm. the classes. They are making the rounds to all of the exhibitors. And it's just been such a wonderful interaction, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. They're doing a game where people have a game board and they cross right. off squares from different exhibitors. So I think that also gives people extra incentive to go visit every booth. Well, and it kind of helps with overcoming the shyness factor. Yes, yeah. yes, it does. I know there's a lot of new things going on at, at Family Tree Magazine, certainly one that I've thoroughly enjoyed being part of is the new Family Tree Magazine podcast, mm -hmm. which we're, gosh, we're almost up to six months now. I know. We're going to have to have a party for it. I know. <laughs> I know. And we're in iTunes, which we're very excited about yes. because uh, the show, if you're not familiar with it, it's a basically an online radio show. Mm -hmm. It's a once a month, half hour show, all the best highlights of what you find in the magazine, plus more. And you get to hear from some of the authors live, which is always a lot of fun. I know it's a lot of fun for me to talk with them. Um, but that wonderful podcast can not only be found in iTunes, mm -hmm. but at their terrific new website. Yes. Tell us about the brand new website. Oh, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> it's um, not only a new look, but the content of the website is better organized into categories such as um, research toolkits and the 101 best websites and the heritage um, ethnic toolkits that we have. So it's a lot easier for people to find what they're looking for. Um, the, the homepage is updated every time we add an article, Great. every time we make a blog post, it shows up right there on the homepage. So it'll just be easier for people to use. It's always been a terrific site because you mm -hmm. have great content and lots of downloadable forms and things like that. But you're right, it's even easier now to find, which right. is great. <laughs> right, right. And it's also um, even better, it's easier for us to update oh, so we can keep perfect. putting new content, new how-to information on there. It's not a big battle every time you want right. to add something it's new. it's quick and easy. <laughs> Terrific. And I know that the website offers you a way to offer additional items uh, out of your vast resources of information. Um, outside of the magazine, mm -hmm. you have a new beginner's guide. Tell us about that. We do. That is a digital download from our website, and it is a collection of our best advice for beginners in genealogy. So, you know, the essentials you need to get started. Um, there's a guide to how to tell how you're related to people. Right. Uh -huh. um, filling out those forms. How, do you, how exactly do you do that? Um, searching the web. Basic tips there. Oral histories. So all kinds of um, things that you always wish that you knew when you were beginning genealogy. <laughs> it would be a great thing to arm yourself with when you're first getting started mm -hmm. in family history. And then coming to a conference like this where then you get to touch and feel and try out and hear from the experts. Right. Uh, it's a wonderful blend. Mm -hmm. And um, you told me that you had actually wrapped up a series that you've been doing for a couple of years now, which was uh, state research guides, right? Yes. Yes. And But now we can get the whole kit and caboodle? You can. Okay. There are several ways you can get that. We have a CD that's available on our website for forty nine ninety nine, and then that has all of the states in it, and it has how to research in Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C., right. and it's all hot-linked and searchable. We also have the guides available as individual downloads, so maybe you only have ancestors in a couple states. You don't want to buy the whole CD. You can download that guide for one state for $3.00. And then we also have them in a book form that's a nice reference to have for your genealogy bookshelf. Right. And, you know, you, you may not be as familiar with a digital download, but it's a nice option because, one, you can order it and have it right away mm -hmm. on your computer, uh, pay for it online. But then, as you said, it's hot-linked, which right. means you could be reading and say, oh, I want to go check out that site and actually click that document that you're reading, this uh, right. research guide, and be there. Yeah. Yeah. It's very convenient for people. It's searchable, so you want to find out about Vital Records in California, you type in Vital Records California, and it will find the page that has that information on it. 
fantastic. It's just going to help us work that much quicker mm -hmm. and more effectively. Yep, and that's the goal. That's really what we're trying to do. <laughs> well, I think that Family Tree Magazine does an amazing job of really being down-to-earth practical advice Thank for the you. researcher because that's what we want to do is we want to to get there and find those ancestors and, mm -hmm. and learn more about our history. And thank you so much for uh, being part of that and making it possible. You're welcome. <laughs>